expert Burton Kelso here with another product review. Today we're talking about the meter plus and the meter block. I know this doesn't make any sense to you because these items are still in the box but we're gonna unbox these items and take a look and see how both of these wireless and Bluetooth meet the monitors work. They're pretty darn amazing and they work in conjunction with an app and you can set it up on your home wireless and even use your Amazon device to connect with it. So with that said, let's start with the Meter Plus. If I move my fingers, we can uh, utilize that. And don't forget that we've got a little meat here that we can demonstrate how the thermometer works. Our little chicken is alive, but in a few minutes, he's gonna have a thermometer in him and kind of give you an idea how the meter works. Now, with that said, Let's open up the Meter Plus. So there's the Meter Plus. Go ahead and take it out of its cardboard box and kind of give you an idea how it works. So there's the Meter Plus Bluetooth thermometer. This is Bluetooth only. So this means that this meat thermometer, if we get it with our little chicken little, will stick into your piece of meat. And there you go, hold that little buddy. And what you would do is get your smartphone out, uh, load the Meter app, and then you can monitor what's going on with your meter device. Now the meter plus utilizes a battery, which is a AAA battery, which you would put into the meter device in the back. Just go ahead and shove that battery in there. And the meter does come with its own AAA battery, but if you ever have to replace it, then obviously you can use any brand of AAA battery. Now with the battery on, uh, it's got a red light that you can kind of barely see, but if you hold it, uh, it's basically letting us know that the meter meet thermometer is not available. So let's put the meter plus back in there, hit the button and it lights up green, letting us know that the meet thermometer is in place. Now, I had a little challenge with the Bluetooth aspect of this meter or yeah, meter plus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch screens here and I'm gonna kind of show you how the app works. Now I have to use my favorite program, which is called uh, Lonely Computer, which allows me to utilize my smartphone and connect it up as a Apple Play device. So let's get the screen mirroring going. Uh, there's my smartphone that you can see. Um, let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's get to the Meter app and see if we can find the Meter Plus in the app. So currently in the Meter app, which is very easy to download and use and free, it says that I have no paired probes. But if I hit the green button on the meter, uh, it is very difficult for me to connect uh, with the meter probe. Um, and look at that, I got a text message. So how about that? Let's get rid of that. So let's go into our settings and see if we can connect a new device. Oh, and it's funny is I'm clicking with the mouse. So let's get out of that. Let's close this. Let's go into our devices and add a device. So we want to connect uh, with it's searching for near to, nearby devices. And if it acts, acts right, and I keep getting a keep I quit getting notifications from um, Instagram and other places, then it should find my device. And as you can see, I'm trying to pair it, uh, but the good thing about it is that with connecting, it'll ask me if I need help. I can go into the help section and it will walk me through uh, to make sure that the meter is doing its thing. So with that said, let's get out of the meter plus because once you do have it connected, you can utilize the app, plug your um, meat thermometer into a piece of meat like our chicken here and plug it in. The other thing I wanted to show off too is that I've got the meter apron on. Look at that. I'm like already grilled out and ready to go. So putting the meter plus away, let's go with the meter block. So there's the meter block and let's take it out of its box. And as you can see, the meter block is a little bit more robust of a device. Larger, uh, you've got um, multiple thermometers, you've got four and you even have the meter block 
which is the control panel to monitor all four of those devices. Powering it on is pretty simple. You just hit the power button here in the middle. Let's see if we can get that going. Oh, I don't know why I'm hitting the middle. The power button's on the side there. So there's our red light letting us know that the meter is ready to go. Now I will say as far as the meter block is concerned, since it uses Wi-Fi, it's a lot easier to connect it and um, get, it con get it connected to your home Wi-Fi to monitor uh, your meat situation as opposed to trying to use it uh, Bluetooth to monitor your devices. So once it's set up, uh, you can connect it to your Wi-Fi. Let's go back into our app and verify that the meter is going to show up. Um, let me see. It wants to install an update, and isn't that always the case? So it is updating my meter block right now, as you can see. But within the app, and we'll give it a few seconds to see. Um, and let me go click back with, um, let's click back with our lonely computer. And Lonely Computer is like, oh my gosh, I can't find the screen. So with that said, I guess I can show you the my smartphone of the app. But the app will find the meter block a lot easier. And the great thing about the meter block is that you can, since it's connected wirelessly, you can connect it to your Alexa devices. So if you have one of these, an Echo Show, which is what this is, or just a plain old Amazon device, you definitely can connect the meter uh, to your Wi-Fi, and then Alexa can, you can ask Alexa how your meat selections are going. And the good thing about the meter is that, it, especially with the meter block, uh, since you've got four, you can monitor four pieces of meat uh, at the same time. And so if you got four of these buddies going on the rotisserie, how do you like that? Or if you had uh, some meat plugged into a cow or any other thing that you needed to monitor the temperature on, uh, you can definitely use the meter block to uh, connect via Wi-Fi, and which I said is, is very easy. And you can also uh, connect the meter plus via Bluetooth. So I also need to, stress that with the meter block, you can definitely connect it via Bluetooth too. Now, what are the advantages of using Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth when it comes to the meter plus and the block as far as uh, monitoring your food? Well, since you asked, if you're monitoring your food via Bluetooth, norm, under normal circumstances, and I think it's the user and not the device as far as connecting it up, if you want to just quickly utilize and plug in your meat thermometer in, like if you had a quick piece of meat, it's very simple for you to bring up your smartphone, uh, pair the meter device once it's connected to Bluetooth. And I will say with both the meter plus and the meter block, you need to make sure that both of them are fully charged before you try to connect your device. And I think that's the problem with the meter plus is that I didn't charge it. So it is easy to set up under normal circumstances. but. If you're trying to stay connected uh, real quick, you definitely can connect both the meter block and the meter plus via Bluetooth, easy to do. But if you cook on a normal basis and you want to incorporate your cooking into your smart home, then probably the meter block would be the device that you would want to go with because it pairs with Alexa it's connected to your home Wi-Fi, so you can use the app uh, to monitor your wireless or wireless meat thermometers to make sure that your food is cooking great. Uh, unlike the snafu I had in this video, it is under normal circumstances very easy to connect the meter plus and the meter block to either Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And so, if you are a grill master like me with your meter gear you can definitely cook animals like this and monitor them and make sure that your meter um, is going to make sure that your food comes out the way that it should so there you have it i wish i had some cooked stuff that i've used with the meter but i don't 
But I would appreciate your comments in the comment section below to uh, leave me your leave me your content comments ask questions and so that we can talk about how the meter is going to work for your grilling purposes um, also with that said I always have to throw up the beggar sign which is subscribe be sure to subscribe like and share this video if you enjoyed it and if it was a give, able to give you uh, more of an insight of what the meter plus and the meter block can do for you um, also, as far as subscribing to our videos, uh, there's tons of videos and tech tips that are designed to help you get more from the technology that you use in your day-to-day -day life. So with that said, I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun and easy to use for everyone. So with that said, take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.